The race is on as Visa makes a push for small businesses to gear up to go cashless with its digital technology. Formula E returns to U.S. streets this week and Visa is leading the charge toward a cashless culture by connecting with electric race cars speeding through New York City streets and of course the fans. Joining us from the track, Formula E driver and former Formula One driver Nelson PK alongside Visa executive Jack Forrestal. How's it going out there? Well, we're here in New York at, the, at uh, New York, Brooklyn, uh, where the track is being uh, being built behind us for the first ever Formula E race over here. Jack, why cashless and why launch this initiative with Formula E? Uh, yeah, look, Visa and Formula E have a lot in common. In a way, they're they're taking the gas out of racing. We're taking cash out of payments, um, and we're both investing in innovation and technology to make it happen. Um, and we're having a lot of success uh, at, at Visa. We operate in hundreds of countries around the world, and we're seeing consumers and, and businesses around the world move away from cash to electronic payments uh, because they're safer, because they're more secure, because they're more convenient. They're really uh, powering the digital economy that uh, we're seeing. So today, we're uh, uh, this week I should say, we're launching a, a challenge to small businesses across the U.S. Uh, to go cashless and we couldn't have thought of a, a better time or place to do it than here in Brooklyn, surrounded by small businesses and with our partners at Formula E. Will going cashless drive more fans to racetracks? Well, I think the easier we make it for consumers uh, to have to watch fun races and to, uh, to be, to, for the race to be accessible, uh, the, the more fans you're going to have around, obviously. Nelson, what's it like to race an electric formula car? Well, racing, uh, racing electric cars, are, it's very similar to racing a normal combustion engine. I mean, the, the difference is very quiet, it's very efficient, it's very clean, and there's a lot more technology involved. We have eight manufacturers over here in Formula E out of 10 teams, so there's a lot of competition going on, a lot of push for technology, a lot of development happening, and um, no, it's, it's been, it's been a, a great experience. I've, been, I've learned a lot the last couple of years racing Formula E. I won the first world championship. And uh, no, I'm, I'm now I'm fighting for my second world championship, so uh, fingers crossed we're going to get there. Some business owners stand to win thousands from a new contest. Tell us about it. Yeah, that's right. We're really excited about that. As I mentioned, we're seeing uh, businesses large and small uh, move away from cash. Um, uh, and we're, uh, we're issuing a challenge to small businesses across the country uh, to go cashless. Um, and we're asking them to tell us their stories, to, to tell us what going cashless might mean for them, their employees, their customers what the opportunities might be and what some of the challenges might be too because uh, you know we're, we're, we're here to help them through that. Uh, from those submissions we're going to pick 50 businesses from across the U.S. Um, and each will be awarded $10,000 to help them uh, bridge the cashless divide. So we're excited about it. Thank you so much for coming on our show.